Alezu Zaleski Dos Santos versus Renat Fakradinov. Fakradinov, it's another one who's taken the UFC by storm. Uh, this is his third UFC fight. His first fight, he had like two 10 8 rounds against Brian Battle. Uh, and then he knocked out Kevin Lee, or he dropped him and then choked him out uh, in the first round. This is another big test here against uh, Zaleski Dos Santos. Um, Zaleski Dos Santos, I believe this is him coming off of a. No, he fought uh, Abu Bakar and Um, uh, But he he fought uh, Benoit Saint Denis, and I think he tested positive for steroids or something like that. I could be wrong. Hopefully, that's not um, defamation. But, um, but yeah, this is another one where you know we have the Brazilian versus the outsider, but. Renat is the guy the UFC probably wants to win this fight. Uh, and in the first round, I mean, he's just swinging. Dude, not the to st- like, not to stereotype this guy, but uh, <laughs> Fakhreddinov Fak looks yeah. like one of the henchmen from the movie Eastern Promises. Have you seen that movie? Oh, yeah. Have you seen. have? Nice. Yeah, with, with Viggo Mortensen. If you like more, yeah. you should check that movie out. And he looks like one of the guys that he fights in the bathtub or whatever, in the, <laughs> yeah. in the bathhouse. Yeah. Uh, dude. But, but dude... You were saying that he came out swinging, and he did. Like his very first, one of his first strikes, he has this like wide sweeping right hook. And yeah. I was like, "Is that intentional? It looks like what I would swing with." You know? <laughs> yeah, it's great. Is I he mean, always like that? I mean, he's more of a grappler, right? Mm-hmm. But the what happens with with grapplers who are like dominant that like once they get you down, you're not getting up. You're gonna have to survive that round, and then you maybe have a chance again the next round. What happens is you start to like anticipate the takedown and you're worried about the takedown and you're focused on defending the takedown. Uh, and the way you defend takedowns is usually you have your arms low because you want to like catch them with your arms, like hook mm-hmm. them. Um, so you're so focused on that that you that wrestlers can almost get away with sloppier striking technique because mm-hmm. the defense is you're you're so focused on the takedown right. that you're Can't not ready both. for exactly so. You get, you get away with it a little bit. Um, it's also just kind of crafty and weird. So you're not used to defending against stuff like that. Because like you mm-hmm. said, he's really reaching and looping with some of these punches. Um, and he was just catching uh, Zaleski like as he was on the outside. Like he probably thought he was out of range. And he put his hands down and then he gets caught. He gets dropped within like the first 45 seconds. Yeah, yeah, with the um, left. Got him quick. Yeah, as, he, as he's trying to circle away. And it seems like he shouldn't have been able to reach him from there. But he does somehow. Mm-hmm. Um, Drops him, uh, ends up on top, and really just grinds and, him down. And the booze down. started happening immediately. <laughs> yeah, this the, immediately. This is the first one that I watched. So I was like, man, they're they're vicious over there. But <laughs> yeah. you're right. It's probably because he's rushing against the Brazilian. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so, yeah, first round, uh, it's like all Fakhradinov, right? He drops him. He he takes him down, and he, and he grinds him out. No real submission attempts. Maybe a, a kind of a rear naked choke attempt, but kind of from a side saddle position where he wasn't going to get it. Um, Dos Santos did a good job of surviving. Second well, yeah, round, surviving. He was on his back. Uh, yeah, like Radinov was on his back, and he was doing something that I don't see often. You know, when I'm watching, is when they're taking these shots at his at his leg. He's kneeing oh, him yeah. in the back the of the knee. thigh, or the side of the thigh. I'm like, why like, does this not happen more often? He like buckled him at one point. Yeah, Zaleski yeah, yeah. Dos Santos was getting up, and he knees him in the leg, and he drops back down to a knee from it. It was mm-hmm, it seemed mm-hmm. pretty like devastating. Mm-hmm. Um, like lots of power behind everything that he got to throw. Yeah. Yeah, and then the second round was more of a stand-up affair. Uh, Dos Santos was doing a good good job at defending some of the takedowns, or mm-hmm. if he did get taken down, he was able to get back up, um, uh, really showcasing some jiu-jitsu stuff. Um, and this right here, Dos Santos started planting this seed because the way that Fakhradinov was striking, he was almost already leaning forward like this and reaching with his punches. Mm-hmm. So Dos Santos made a good read where he started throwing a lot of uppercuts and straight up the middle type stuff. Uh, which is going to catch you if you're leaning, right? Because if you want to be moving laterally more so than vertically mm-hmm. uh, normally um, for this exact reason. And in the third round, I thought the second round was um, a decent, a close round, but I thought Fakhradinov had the better of the exchanges on the feet. Um, but the third round, you know, Dos Santos starts throwing that front kick to the body over and over and over again. And eventually, with like 45 seconds left, catches him with it and you see him hold his belly, take a few steps back, and you're like, oh, my God, is this guy about to have a comeback win after getting dropped in the first round? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Blood Rope says that this photo makes him want to puke. Yeah, dude, it's brutal, man. That's a brutal shot. Uh, I cannot imagine taking one of those, dude. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. so gnarly. Um, but they end up on the ground in kind of an entanglement, and Dos Santos tries to choke him out, and, and it doesn't quite get it. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Yeah, it, he doesn't get it, and uh, and Renat gets up, and he's about to land like the <laughs> yeah. hammer fist of hammer fists on this man. I was like, oh <laughs> yeah. my god! But uh, but Dos Santos like just straight up kicks him right in the in the left shoulder. Yeah, like, that was cool. Gets him off balance. I was like, wow, you just dodged a bullet right there. <laughs> yeah, uh, and it was cool. This whole fight, they would crack each other and like both be like smiling, like massive smiles. Yeah, on their face. yeah. Like uh-huh. <laughs> it was it was a cool fight. Um, and then they score a draw, which I think is probably the right call. You know, you give two rounds to uh, Fakhradinov and then a ten-eight round in the third, probably for uh, Dos Santos. I would imagine. I actually haven't looked at the scorecards, but I would imagine that's what it was. Let's see, um, I'd have to use Edge right now, and it defaults to Bing because I never use it and I haven't changed it. Hey, stop hitting on Bing, dude. They're trying to make their way in the world just like one fighting championship. Is fine too. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, Fakhradinov versus uh, where is it? Here we go. Uh, ten nine for Fakhradinov uh, in the first, and then uh, two and three to Dos Santos on one judge's scorecards. I don't agree with that. Two other judges gave yeah ten nine in the first two for Fakhradinov and a 10-8 for Dos Santos in the third. Mm. I think that's the right call. Sal Diamato. You, Rich probably doesn't even really know, but Sal Diamato used to be go to... Yeah, that he was like the, the butt of the joke always. But, dude, secretly, for the past year or so, dude, he's been on point. He's been on point. And people don't want to accept it because he's the butt of every joke all the time. But mm-hmm. times are changing, you know? Hey everybody, Ramiro and Will here. Thank you so much for watching that short clip. It's just a small clip of what we covered this last Sunday. Yeah, if you want to check out the full fight card recap, uh, the link is in the description and it's going to be on screen at the end here. Uh, Don't forget to go back and watch our fighter interviews that we have. Uh, And don't forget to tune in live every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern. uh, And you can join in on the fun. Yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, Hit the notification bell. goes a long way. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching that short clip from Story of the Fight.